So I'm going to start off by saying hello to both Ashling and Alison. Hi both. Hello. So good, good to see the two of you. Um, let me start with Ashling. So Ashling, uh, you're a professor in the School of Maths at NUI Galway. Could you just tell me a little bit about yourself, what you teach and what you do? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Gavin. Uh, it's great to be here and it's certainly great to have um, one of my students here, Alice. Uh, so I teach mathematics, of course, from first year all the way up to master's level. Um, and this year in particular, I'm teaching first year engineering students. And that's in particular where I met Alice and where Alice comes in. Um, I'm one of a very enthusiastic team of mathematicians here in our school of maths. Um, and each and every opportunity that we get to uh, say, come and do maths with us, sure. we like to take it. So, yeah. so that's... So how did you uh, learn of Alice or come across some of her achievements that we're going to hear about in a, in a minute? Well, Alice is a, one of a, a very large class, first year class of engineering students, um, and she's one of the class reps. So you, you tend to come upon, it, it, obviously in this online world, it, it is quite hard to get to meet people, but it was through her position as one of the class reps that I um, first had just a correspondence with her. And, and then as chance would happen, I read the advertiser and there's a, there was a great supplement in it at the weekend. I managed to read it and I recognized this name and I just thought it's sufficiently uncommon that could there be two, could there be more than the one? And the more I read it, the, the more I thought I have to email Alice. And I mean, Alice, as, as hopefully Alice will tell us, she's, She's a veteran of the, the festival and um, she's, a, she's a, a tribute to science and engineering, I would have to say, and most particularly to Mars. So I hope she might say something about that. But that, that's, that's how it's all very natural and, and wonderful. So I'm delighted she's come on board for our chat. So, so, so Alice, how are you? <laughs> Good, yeah, that was a great introduction. Excellent. So could you just maybe tell us a little bit about what you're doing now? You're in first year engineering. So perhaps uh, briefly where you went to school and why you chose to do engineering. Yeah, so I went to school in Cal Sanctuous College in Ormore and I chose engineering because I just had a passion for STEM in general and it seemed like a well-rounded course and I was used to the campus and stuff, so. Indeed, indeed. And this this is kind of a maths video, right? Because of the activities that are, that are coming up in a few minutes. Um, so presumably you enjoyed studying maths and you still do, right? Yeah, maths is kind of, you know, essential to all aspects of STEM really. So uh, we studied calculus module and mechanics module in uh, first year engineering. So it's kind of mm -hmm. well rooted in the course. Indeed, yeah. yeah, because so many parts of our lives depend on maths anyway, don't they? Mm -hmm, exactly, yeah, it's in yeah. every aspect. So Alice, you have a long history with the Galway Science and Technology Festival, don't you? Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, I used to go to the Galway Science Technology Festival a lot when I was younger. I, when I had a strong interest in astronomy, I used to go with my granddad and there was always something for us there. And then I moved on to an interest in biology and then engineering. So there's always something that you'll find of interest. And then I got the chance to present my pro one of my projects at the festival in 2019 and managed to pick up an award as well. Excellent. So when we're back to in-person events next year, hopefully for the festival, you'd encourage uh, students uh, in, in secondary schools and even primary schools to, to, to get involved as much as they can. Definitely, yeah, like there's always something there and if you're thinking of going to even the university, you know, you'll pick up more information about that and just STEM in general. Excellent. And it's not only with the festival that you've had those achievements and you've won some prizes and awards and so on. There's been a lot of other things you've been up to. Uh, could you tell us about some of those? Yeah, so I was heavily involved with extracurricular STEM activities throughout secondary school. So events like the BT Young Scientists, SciFest, and of course, Galway Science Technology Festival. So with one of my projects, I won a top technology award at BT Young Scientist, where they sent me, or analog devices sent me to America later wow. that summer. And I got to present at their European headquarters in Limerick and their American headquarters in Silicon Valley, which was really cool. And then with SciFest, I won Intel's Technology Award at their national finals in 2019 as well. And they were going sending me to ICEF, which is the International Science and Engineering Fair in California. But unfortunately, COVID happened, so that got cancelled. But it was still, you know, an honour to be a finalist. And then 
was. In August, I got the opportunity to represent Ireland along with some other SciFest finalists at Hong Kong's Global Youth Science and Technology Bowl, where I placed third in category. And over the summer then, I was involved in a patch accelerator, which was a six week program where I met my co-founder, Jack. So we started a tech company called Mirror, where we develop novel uh, patented touchscreen smart mirrors. Um, wow, so you have your own startup company now. Yeah. And it's focused on making that technology. Mm -hmm. Wow, which is really exciting, I'm sure. It is, yeah, a bit time consuming, but it yeah. is. Yeah, so amongst all of this, you have some time for your studies then, I assume. <laughs> Squeeze it in. Excellent. And to finish off then, could you tell us what type of engineering are you hoping to branch into after first year then? Uh, I'm hoping to either go into biomedical or electronic engineering. Okay, so you have some options uh, mm -hmm. and that sounds really exciting. So thanks very much for telling us all about that, uh, Alice. Um, I think um, that gives us a lot of food for thought, Ashling, doesn't it? Uh, I think we feel really inadequate at this point. <laughs> No, I just feel inspired. That's oh. all. I'm not an adequate at all. No, it's, it's wonderful and you know, fantastic. Yeah. Class. And also, just to mention that, that her and her co-founder have this um, grant funding that they've they've got from was it New Founders? You, you said uh, New Frontiers, yeah. So it's supported by Enterprise Ireland. So we're in a six-month program, starting at the end of the month, where we're receiving fifteen k in funding to develop our product. Excellent. Yeah. So I think this is a, a really great example of what's possible uh, as a student uh, in the university uh, and generally in following your interests and your passions. So I think it's, it's really great to hear that. Yeah. So what we're going to let our viewers do then, having heard from us three, is to continue watching this video when uh, you'll have the chance to hear from another of our colleagues, Professor Michelle Destrade and uh, one of the postgraduate students in the School of Maths at NUI Galway, uh, Victoria Sanchez Munoz. And uh, they're going to uh, show you how to work with something called a Mobius strip. So you'll see it when you see it. Uh, and Michelle then has some fun and games promised uh, around how maths and movies meet. You'll see what I mean when you see it. Hmm. So uh, enjoy the rest of the video.